Great to finally meet you. Oh, here we go. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better? Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, welcome back to the Boomers. And basically, this episode my friends, we are going to continue to work for the Boomers and see if we can actually get this finished. So we can then work for the NTR, because, not work for the NTR, get these to ally with the NTR. Because what is I very it, much want to work with the Brotherhood of Steel. Or do what we need to do about them my friends, so we're going to crack on with that. Hope you're having a great day, hope you're staying awesome out there. Let's get it. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about Our it. Next mission, guys. It's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building, smack dab in the middle of Nellis, between the two runways. Okay. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. Hmm. Be sure to stop on back and let me know when the arrays are fixed. Right, so we've got to fix the arrays, guys. Find spare array parts. Oh. Boom, move. Right. That's our mission, guys. Nellis Array. Right, so if we go and actually unlock this place, guys, we can just fast travel back and forth between Helios 1 and the Array Station. It might be a good idea to go and clear it out now, guys. He said it's a long way for his old bones. It's quite a trek, guys, I guess, but it's not that far. I just get the feeling you can't be bothered, guys, to be honest with you. I don't think you can be bothered. How are you all doing today, though? Let me know in the comments, my friends. Be interested to know how your lives are going. I'd also be interested to know how the hell to get in there. Oh, the door that I just completely missed. <laughs> oh. Oh. What? Oh, they must be on top, guys. Inspector panels in this area are damaged. Inspecting the damage, you quickly realise you lack the skill to repair the area without replacement parts. Bam! Oh, that's a pain, guys. That's a pain, because if we had enough... Damn it. Yeah, that's a bit of a pain, guys, because I think if we had enough, um... What was that? Who's it saying I can speak to? Nobody. Right, let's go through here, guys, see if we can go and get these spare parts. Fix this goddamn array. Array, array. How do we get through? We need to hike on through to the back of the building, don't we? I, mean, I can't remember how the hell to get out the back bit. That must be this way. There we go, this is looking promising. Yeah, it's the people that we work with, guys. Right. What do we what do we do? Just Steal them? Ah, they must. Oh, okay, they must be in. Microfusion cells. 
This is strange. Aha. This makes sense, guys. So basically, we've got to go around, grab all these scrap arrays, and then take them back. And repair the ones at the other place. We're going to quickly get that done. It looks like it's fine. This looks like quite an easy mission, to be honest, guys. This looks like just a simple case of grab these bits, take them back, fix the other ones, job, job. Jobs are good, my friends. That was you, right? I think that is it. What are you guys doing? What the hell? They weren't supposed to be there. Part of that mission before, guys. Whatever floats their boat, my friends. <coughs> Whatever boats their float. I didn't realise there was a blatant door there. Looks like there's a blatant ladder there. <laughs> Use Helios. One done, guys. So we're, you know, we're being pre pretty useful to these guys, I must say. Other one. Two more. My damn way, Boone. One more, guys. Right, now go and tell the boss man. The boss man who couldn't be bothered to do anything. So far, we've cleared out the ants. We've now repaired all their arrays. So we must save it. I don't want to do that trip again in case it crashes. This game crashes sometimes, guys. It's range. Yeah, no, um, I'm not sure what how much we need to do to get to the point where we can. We probably have to become to us become a certain sort of level of liked with them. I'd imagine. Out of this place, man. There he is. My brother. Hello, outsider. Need something? I was going to tell you. What? Well, how about that? Turns out you aren't completely useless working with your hands. Thanks. Bye. Right, sunshine boogie. They now like us around these parts, guys. Bug an access point to the lucky third. Oh no, I don't want to do all that. Um. Well, there. Uh, seems to be someone I can work for over here, guys. What do you want done? So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. You've never been to Vegas, mate. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Uh, just tell me, come on. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Why? Well... The thing is, there's this girl. Let me buy her. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. 
They don't make my stomach queasy like this. That would be amazing. Okay. As in, I would thank you forever. Jack's love story. Jack, let me know there is a girl he's interested in at Crimson Caravan. He knows she has red hair. But that's all he is, you know. Oh, that's where I was then. But that is all he knows. He'd like me to talk to her and see if she's interested in meeting him. Okay. I think I know who she is, guys. Because when I was at Crimson Caravans, there was this um, NPC there. It looked a lot better than the rest. Significantly. Fortunately, we didn't blow the place to smithereens. Because, I mean, that would have... That's our chances up. Because obviously, you know, we sacrificed uh, Jess. Not Jess. What her name? We sacrificed the girl. Obviously, but she wanted to kill all these people. There so, you know. There she is over there. Now, that's the girl I was thinking of, but... You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our... We go. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. Hey. What's he like? Easy peasy. He's a special sort of guy, perfect for a special sort of gal. We've got a oh, lady killer perk, guys. I've just gotta meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? I'll ask Poe. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. <laughs> If we had lied, guys, she would have got blown to smithereens. <laughs> we can't do that. Tempting as it is, guys. Would have been quite funny. Yeah, yeah, no, sure, they'll let you in. No, no problem, yeah. Just see her running in the distance up here and just get absolutely plastered by artillery shells. Oh, man. I think I'm a bit evil sometimes, guys. A little bit evil. Right, come on, Pearl, where are you? Where are you at, Pearly Whirly? How is your visit with us going, stranger? Jack is interested in the go. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. We mean a lot of Jack. Hmm. Come I on. suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Huh. I do believe you've convinced one or two of us that it's better you made it here than we're blown to smithereens. Okay, so we still need to See do a bit you. more. But we are doing this for Jack at the moment, so. Oh, where have we got to go now, guys? Can't be asked to walk. <laughs> we're going to tell Jack that, um. The girl is interested in meeting him. And Poe has said she will let him in. We'll let her in. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Boom. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? I spoke to Pearl, but Janet needs a way past the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Boom bow. Making movements here, guys. Alright, back to the crimson. You know, guys, if these games didn't have fast travel, could you imagine? Could you just imagine for a second? I mean, we've been back and forth between these two places so many times where you, it, these games would take an enormous amount of time to complete. But I imagine there's some people out there that actually don't fast travel. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about him again. Doing well. Okay, here we go. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? I've got a boomer uniform for you to wear to cross Nellis. There's one more thing. 
I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. I'm, I'm getting mugged off here, guys. I know I'm trying to matchmake and all that, but uh, I won't, man. It's fine. We'll get it done. Welcome back. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. I've got really high speech. But not that high. Janet's wages can't be that much. Why well, bother keeping them from her? You'll have... The Crimson... Damn it. You'll have... I keep spamming it in my work. <sighs> nope. I'm glad to hear it. It's been a pleasure. Sorry, Janet. My skill wasn't high enough to help you. But then if it's a man of your dreams, you know, he's probably got a few pennies over there. You know, you'll be all right. Hey, have you spoken with McLafferty yet? You're free to leave, but she won't pay you. I see. Well, it's a bit close. thank you for trying. <laughs> I'm off to go see my admirer now. You go, Janet. Get out of here. Stuff the Crimson Caravans. Go on, Janet. Right, now, better luck. She makes it and doesn't get blown up. You know, we've done all we can, guys, to prevent. Where's that? I think it will as a marker over there still, guys. <gasps> I don't think she made it. Hi. I can't believe I'm going to meet my red-headed lady soon. I'm really nervous about it. What? Cool. Thanks. What? No. Um. Oh, I th no, guys, I think I was supposed to escort her. I think I was supposed to escort her. You ready to die? Oh. Well, that didn't work out very well for you, did it, brother? I mean, I'll take it all, though. <laughs> How much is his armor's worth? <gasps> oh my god. I'm actually amazed at how much that did not work out. Right, so... She must be waiting. We must have to follow her to make sure she makes it, guys. Which means something's probably going to happen. Probably going to get blown to smithereens. Coming, Janet. I'm on the way. Or well, she might actually be in a bit of trouble. What, New Vegas Med Clinic. Where are you, Janet? He's there. She seems to be moving away from us, but what the hell, man? Mess me up. She seems to be moving away from us quite quickly. So she must be going there in real time. Which means we have to catch her up. Quite lively. I'm trying to catch up though, guys. Ah, there we go. Perfect. She made it. Go on in, Janet. Go and see your man. I want to see what happens here, guys. This is matchmaking at its finest. We're going to do gaming here, guys. 
be lots of different things. From bug splatting, the racing, the guards and tutorials, the last streaming, and even matchmaking. Let's move on down there, shall we? confused right now it's great to finally meet you oh here we go hi there it's great to meet you as well i'm glad you made it out here you're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance and you're even more handsome up close do you think it'll be okay if i hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better of course it would i'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women um well, that went well. Thank you for getting me here. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. Well, I've well, never guys. been so happy in my entire life. Boom. Like I said, I can never. All right. Bye. Another guy done. Oh, this is a good chance to actually make make it so our speech is undeniable. Oh, we've got another one of these guys. You have come to understand Night Stalkers. Consuming Night Stalker sque squeezings. Oh, great. I don't want to do that. Grim Reaper Sprint. If you kill a target in VATS, 20 action points are restored upon exiting VATS. Oh, take that. Jack is a great guy. All right, it's another one done, guys. We must be getting pretty close. We've still got a ton of people to help out. Well, we've done him. Go and check these two out over here. I think there's just one person here. Yeah, it is. And that's matey there. That's for the scrap metal. So we'll go over here and check out these two guys. There can't be many more. Because some of these people are passive quests. You know, give them items. Unlimitedly. So I gave him one scrap metal. I gave the other person too many missiles. Which has upset me. It's fine. Are you okay? I'm gravy, mate. Is it, have I got a word for you? You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Sure. Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I? Sure. Excellent. Imagine you're the first Let outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Let's go. He's going to tell us all about the boomers. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. <laughs> Is that it? Uh. Was that it? Was, was that the end of your story? Hmm. Oh, no, it wasn't. Well, you just bugged out a little bit, guys. What's going on with this kid? Hey, anything going on? Yeah, I'm trying to hear the story of you people. You're back. When you walked off in the middle of our people's story, I, didn't. I thought you must. Wonderful. I'm sure. All right, go. Excellent. I was going to say, I didn't walk off. I just sat down and listened to you, and he just stopped speaking. All right, let's try that again. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. 
We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. Listen, we blew right. them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Okie dokie. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Well, I'll walk straight through, yeah. Nellis has Basically. revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies and arms. Didn't realize this is a tapestry. Bring high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Interesting, guys. Hi. They want to restore Hi. this bomber. Now that you know the story of our people, have some questions. Ask away. So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Our, in our vault, everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the Waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. That's right. Our Geiger counter indicates that the base was radioactive, but not dangerously so. Enough time has passed. Anything else you want to know? Hmm. You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Um. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? Loyal found a file somewhere that about on the goes. base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just kid, imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. It'll be spectacular, won't it? You should talk to Loyal. I bet you could help. Anything else you want to know? Interesting. Alright. Don't get blown up. That's it then guys, we've done done with that kid. We ain't got a great deal more to do, I don't think. Well uh return to Pope, yeah we've done it guys. So be interested in that bomber. But we won't be able to fix it. Our repairs crap. Obviously we went down the speech, charisma, charismatic route. You know, why not? Where are you, Pearl? There you are. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Talking about the bomber, guys. 100%. You know, have us out in the wasteland searching for a goddamn bomber. That's you know, not a problem. Really? 
Hey, dude. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Go for it. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, not everything. a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Mm -hmm. Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Sure. How do you expect to do it? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Okay. Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not oh, a yeah, one, out, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. I'll do it, guys. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Might try holding your breath. <laughs> if that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. All right. Let's go and talk to Jack, guys, because I think he owes us a little favour after we, you know, got him the love of his life. And it'd be quite handy as well, guys, to be able to swim underwater. And then we're going to go up and see where this bomber is, my friends. See what this bomber's all about. Jack, where are you, bro? Better not be bonking your new lady. No. I've never been so happy in my entire life. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Oh. Sorry. A pressure cooker would have... Great. That's all I need to get the rebreather to work right. I don't think you'd want to start breathing water halfway down. Bye. Where do I get the that parts? That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. What? Me, you mean? Is that I killed him. Nobody ever gives me credit on this guy. Nobody ever gives me credit, guys. My damn. Right. Attach a ballast. That needs some parts from a pressure cooker. Where are we going to find a pressure cooker? Oh my god, that is miles out. We're going to have to take this route here, guys. We also need to... get a Novak. Old Lady Gibson's about to have a pressure cooker. I hope. If not... We're in trouble, guys. Get away, Basora. So, you're back. Have a look. Happy to... I need a pressure cooker, Lady Gibson. God damn it. <laughs> right, guys. <clears throat> I've just done a bit of research. We can go back to where it all started. Because apparently, Doc Mitchell has a pressure cooker... Cook, pressure... Blah, 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 pressure cooker... In his house, and I actually rem specifically remember him having this pressure cooker now. Because when I first started this game, I remember looking around and seeing a pressure cooker. No more like I picked it up and sold it. But I might not have. One can hope. Let's search the doc's house. You know, we did pretty much rob the guy blind. Need to find this pressure cooker. Poster, flour, cooking pot, coffee pot. Oh. Pilot light. You know, I get the feeling it would have been in here. Abrox. Dinner plate. Right, I'm going to search for this, guys. <gasps> Found it! Yeehaw! 
Thank you again, Doc. He's not even here, guys. Where is the Doc? Doc Mitch, where you at, homie? Probably down the pub. That's how I blame him. What are we doing? Pushing the bloody furball along. Right, let's go and get this rebreather, guys. Get Jack to make this rebreather for us and we'll be able to dive. And get this bomber. Come here, Jack. Now, these two are besties now, aren't they? I've never been so happy in my entire life. I'm glad, brother. Have you found... I'm skipping it because I've already had this conversation. Thanks. This will just take a few moments. Okay. It looks like the valve from the cooker was a perfect fit. Here's the rebreather. Thank you, buddy. Later. Right, guys. Underwater swimming. Let's go. Get out of there. So we're going to travel to Roll Shack. Oh, Vault 34. That'll be something to check out at some point. Right, let's go to Rail Shack. And... Is there anything actually in here? Anything of interest? Dirty water. I've already been in there, haven't I? Because I've totally raided it. Got anything for me? Oh, scrap metal. Alright guys, let's go and find the road. We are going to pop to Vault 34 as well. Not this episode, but we will do that. Because that is the vault that they left. The boomers left there, which is in that mountain. And they made base up there. So, that was done. Alright, save the game. Let's make our way on down here, guys. What is that massive building there? Uh, we ran into some death claws, guys. Uh, where's my big gun? Oh, Boone, you got this, bro. God damn. What is it with death claws, guys? Man, there's loads of them. Look. Why is it we play death claws? I'm gonna go and kill him. We're gonna go and kill him because there's gonna be something in that building, guys. A few moments later. Interestingly, that is more death claws than I originally thought there was. Right, guys, we're gonna actually end the episode here, um, because we're getting we're getting on a little bit for like forty minutes now, and we ain't got far to go. Next episode, we will make our way down here, bring up the crash B twenty nine, make the boomers happy. We'll probably go and explore Vault thirty four as well. Have a little look what that's got for us. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this episode, my friends, drop a like on the video. I appreciate it very much. Drop a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the series. If you're new, subscribe. I'll see you very soon for the next episode, my friends. Stay awesome.